Chapter number four. Whoever does not consider dark suggestions by one's own self or similar things as dubious matters. Okay. So who does not consider dark suggestions? I don't know if this is one of Batman's movies or what is dark suggestions? Dark suggestions. Buswas is dark suggestions. Buswas. <laughs> I've been I've been doing counseling sessions for ages. This is the first time I hear this description. Dark suggestions. By whom? <laughs> no, it's called whispers. Whispers of Shaitan. So this is Wiswas Bab, who does who who does not consider whispers of Shaitan as part of uh, uh, dubious matters. Why? Because we have to close the door of OCD. Wallahi, if I tell you the amount of counseling session I do for people over OCD, you'll be amazed. You think that Muslims are getting crazy. OCD is prevailing. And this is only attributed to lack of knowledge. The, oh, the moment you have knowledge, no OCD. But when you don't have knowledge, it builds up in kufr. In whispers about Allah, about the Quran, about the Prophet ﷺ. And it started from little things. In purity. Oh, I'm dripping urine. Oh, my wudu is not correct. I repeat my wudu. I take half an hour to do ghusl. And then it escalates little by little. Bl Sheikh, I, I have, I made a lot of money <laughs> out of this. Alhamdulillah, may Allah protect us. Of people saying, Sheikh, I want counseling session. And I give them 20 sessions. Of what? I divorced my wife, but I'm not sure if I divorced my wife or not. This is all what we, we re revolve around. Sheikh, I was thinking of divorce, but I said to my wife, I was thinking a song, let's roll together. So I thought to myself, okay, this is divorce because I was thinking of divorce. I said, were you having a fight? He said, no, but because I was thinking, let's roll together. And I, as if I'm telling my wife, I'm going with another woman who I'm marrying you, which means that I will divorce you. So is this ambiguous divorce, Sheikh? I'm afraid even shaitan will say <laughs> This is crazy I, can't, I cannot force you to do this This is from you And the guy comes back and back and back All what you need to do is Have knowledge If you know that divorce doesn't take place Unless you intend it Unless you say it specifically Not ambiguously, ambiguously And that you don't have OCD and after that, alhamdulillah, yani he, how did he resolve this issue? By recording. I said, I'm, I'm repeating the same words over and over again. Please record this session. He recorded it, khalas. Every time he wants to have one, he listens to it. Yeah, this is logical. No need. It ended. So OCD is problematic. But how to solve it? Through knowledge. Now listen to this hadith. Hadith number 987, narrated Aisha radiallahu ta'ala Some people said, O oh Allah's Messenger, meat is brought to us by some people, and we are not sure whether the name of Allah has been mentioned on it or not at the time of slaughtering the animal. Allah's Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa said to them, Mention the name of Allah and eat it. Now, this is problematic to most of the Muslims. Akhi, this halal or not halal? The meat is halal or not halal? Yeah, it's halal. Uh, uh, what is the dalil? Come on. <laughs> what, what do you mean by the dalil? No, you have to prove to me that it is halal. So what? Bring you video recording of it being slaughtered? It's halal. The hadith is not so open that people go to Russia, who are atheists or communists, or go to India, who are Hindus, and just say Bismillah and eat. No, you have to know the background. The background is the hadith, the full hadith, O Prophet of Allah, we have people recently accepted Islam. And this is very important. It's not Chinese. If I go to China and they serve me meat and I say, Bismillah, and I eat it. No, this is not halal. Why? Because we as Muslims can only eat the slaughtering of 
I made this statement once in Twitter and they banned me for four months. They say, you promote slaughtering the Jews and the Christians. <laughs> the question was crystal clear. What's the ruling on eating in America the, from McDonald's and Burger King? I said, the slaughtering of the Jews and the Christians is halal. <laughs> Which means that even if you are as good in English as I am, you make mistakes when you speak to people not knowing their background. Any Muslim would have understood it. The question is clear. The answer is anticipated. They think that I'm... Pro ya khitab, read the question. Don't be stupid. Read the question. Is it about eating the meat? Said, no, you said slaughtering. You have to delete it. I said, no, I'm not going to delete it. For four months, they suspended my account. I appealed. I sent to them quotations from the Quran. They sent back to me. You have to delete it. At the end of the day, I said, delete it. So every time I speak about this, I always bring this issue so that it remains in the back of our minds. We are under the microscope. We're Muslims. Whenever you speak, everything is being scrutinized. Never say something that may incriminate you or be misunderstood. Always be clear. So the slaughtering by a Jew, Christian, or a Muslim uh, uh, butcher of an animal makes the animal halal for me. Any other denominations is haram. A Buddhist, a Hindu, a atheist, someone who doesn't believe in the existence of Allah, if they slaughter and say, Bismillah, Wallahu Akbar, la ilaha illallah, it's still haram. Because only these three men, we're allowed to eat from their slaughtering. So the hadith says, these people just recently accepted Islam. They're not knowledgeable about the rulings. We don't know when they slaughtered, did they say Bismillah or not? This is the ambiguity in it. So the Prophet said, do not consider this to be dubious. What are the clear instructions? Are they Muslims? Yes. In this case, whatever they slaughter, when you get it, you say Bismillah and this would make it halal. This raises and uplifts the hardship. Why? The butchers here in Kuwait, do you buy meat from them? The, the biggest is Americana. In Saudi, we, we, we rely entirely on Americana. This is a Kuwaiti establishment until, and as far as I know. Do you know the butcher who slaughtered it? Do you know whether they pray or not? Do you know if they said Bismillah or in the name of whatever? So how do you eat it? Now people with OCD are starting to make their calculations. <laughs> oh, okay, I have to remove the meat in the refrigerator. I have to do this. The Prophet is making life easy. So don't go beyond the ease of Islam and make things difficult. Now, if you want to protect yourself and say, I'm not going to eat of something that... Yeah, this is up to you. The problem doesn't stop here. The problem is when you do this, five, six months, you start to look down at people. Oh, Sheikh Hasim eats from McDonald's or Burger King, as far as we know. How does he know it's halal? How do you know that it's haram? It's a Muslim country. It doesn't serve alcohol. And the default is all the meat is haram. Ya Akhi, in the Sahih, the Prophet ﷺ was invited by a Jew woman. And he answered the invitation with his companions. She put a lot of poison in the shoulder. The Prophet went and ate. Oh, Prophet of Allah, wait, wait, wait. She's Jew. And the income of the Jew, as mentioned in the Quran, is from riba and from haram. You should ask her, did you buy it from halal means or haram? No, he didn't ask. Okay, Prophet of Allah, she's a Jew. You don't know if this is fallen from a mountain or was... Uh, uh, killed by suffocation or slaughtered, you should ask. No. She's from the people of the book. Allah mentioned in chapter five, uh, 6, Surah Al-Ma'idah, so 5, Surah Al-Ma'idah, that their slaughtering is halal for us. Their meat that they slaughter is halal for us. So we can eat. So the Prophet acted accordingly. He did not ask. So do you know more than the Prophet no. So why make life difficult? Now, if you don't feel 
good about it, don't eat. When you go to Canada or America, don't eat. I personally would go and check. They sell pork or not. They don't sell pork. Bismillah. I eat. I have no problem in that. You feel better, good for you. But don't look down at people and start saying, oh, this is haral, this is haram on your own thing because the Prophet indicated clearly in the hadith, alayhi salam, Samullah, you say bismillah and eat. Khalas. 